Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you are new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable because we about to make it do what it do. Okay, the pains will fly, so it will be. I sing, I curse. You already know what to do if you got a problem with it. If not, stick around, like, subscribe, comment, share. If you need it personal, you want me tips or donations, check out any of my other channels. All that info is down below in the description box. Also, babies, um, if you're interested in entering the contest for the thousand sub, the instructions are in the community board, okay, for the other channel. Anything else you need to know before we jump into this? Oh, this is a Divine Connection channel. We don't do any uh, individual signs over here. If you are interested in that or collective reads, check out my Purple Priestess channel or my Everything Pisces channel. Okay, baby? So, besides that, we're going to jump into this Divine Connection. They told me pull four cards. And then we're going to clarify the four cards. So, I'm going to the shuffle two more times. So, that's one. One more. That's two. So take the top card, put it in the middle, and then cut. One, two, three, four. No sweat. You got this shit, honeys. Okay. There could be a neighbor, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody around you that stays close um, in your city. It's still a neighbor. Yeah, that could be judging you. Huh, they could be in love with you, babies. So let's see. They could be about to travel to you. So what's going on with this divine connection? Huh? So there is someone here. Could be your divine masculine, okay? Um, that lives in your city, okay? This could be somebody who lives exactly next door to you. Within 30 minutes is what I heard. A 30 minute drive. So a 30 minute drive, hour on the bus, two hours on the bus at the most, is what I just heard. So um, as far as neighbor, when this goes, but there's somebody that wants to come towards you. They want to bring justice here. They want to bring you justice. They're afraid of what you're going to say. They're afraid of your judgment. But I feel like they're starting to feel like it's no sweat. They got this. So they're going to come towards you here. They could be talking to a neighbor. The neighbor could be telling them. This could be an actual neighbor they're talking to. Tell them there's no sweat. You got this, okay? Stop being so hard on yourself. Go, go, go. Um, bring justice to this connection. Because they don't ever want you to stop loving them. So, like I said, either they're, either you're the neighbor. Or this person is literally talking to a neighbor about you here. So let's see what's being said. Because the neighbor told him, no sweat, you got this. What day, spirit? Let's see this day. What did they say to the neighbors? Let's see. They're ready to talk at the bottom of the deck. So what is this no sweat, you got this, when it comes to this divine connection here, spirit? Uh-oh, I'm dropping cards. Clarify, clarify, I cannot talk. Clarify, no sweat, you got this. What is the neighbor telling this collective about no sweat, you got this? What is this? Clarify. Do need it to jump. Clarify, no sweat you got this. What is the neighbor telling this person no sweat you got this for? Okay, yeah. So um they're telling them to come towards you. You could have cut this person off and told them you needed some space. You could have backed up away from this person. You could have set some boundaries. You've been enforcing boundaries here. You took some time to think and to, and to gain clarity, right? This person could have did this to you as well. Told you they needed some space to cut you off. But now they want to come back and celebrate. A joyous occasion or event will take place soon. So the neighbor is telling them, you know what I'm saying? You got this. Okay, so what? You cut this person off. They cut you off. You got this. Go go speak your truth. Bring justice, like I said, to this situation. Clarify this neighbor here for my divine connections. Yes, yeah, Spirit says... uh. This neighbor either told them to focus on themselves 
or they're telling this neighbor that you pulled away to focus on yourself because you needed more. You weren't getting what you needed out of this connection. So they're talking to this neighbor. They're telling this neighbor that you cut them off. You needed space. You've been, you, you haven't been celebrating with them, hanging out with them because you've been focusing on yourself, practicing self-care, redirecting your energy to yourself. Okay? They're also telling this neighbor that they know you need more here. Because what worked in the past is no longer working. Because you're, you're standing in your boundaries. You're, you're focusing on yourself. But the neighbor is telling them, look. You got this. I feel like it's going to turn out in your favor. Move forward here. Clarify judge. When it comes to this divine connection. And what this neighbor is telling this person here. Yeah, see, this person has to stand up for their karma. Pay what you owe. You receive what you put out. Karma is just another word for lessons. So this person went through some type of karma. So whatever they did to you, they are now receiving some karma, right? And they could possibly be afraid to come back toward you because the karma came towards them. They received some shit. They were like, what the fuck? Yeah. They were not expecting this karma that came towards them. Justice came very quickly here. Now this person is taking some time to ground themselves to understand what the hell just happened in their life. Because they should just got flipped, turned upside down. And then just sit right there. I'll tell you how I'm getting the Prince of a Town called Bel Air. Okay, so this person could have went towards the money. They wanted to celebrate. They wanted to party. So they, they, huh, Prince. Okay, yeah. So they went towards somebody. They thought they were finna come up here, right? So they cut you off. They pulled away from you, right? While they did this, you were focusing on yourself. And then karma came. Now they, they're talking to this neighbor because they realize they fucked up. Okay? It says, be mindful of negative and toxic behavior. Shadow work may be necessary. See, this person now has to deal with their shadow side because karma came back to them. So whatever they dished out to you did come back to this person in some type of form. This could be why they're afraid. They could also be afraid that if they come to you, you may treat them the same way they treated you. But they don't want you to ever stop loving them. They don't want this to be over. Clarify, don't ever stop loving me. What is the neighbor telling them about this never ever stop loving me? Yeah. So they, yeah, so. The neighbor told them, yeah, come tell them the truth about both of you guys. About the love triangle. Tell them the truth about you were unable to make the decision. But you don't want this to be over. It's not too late to apologize. Before this person moves on. Because the, the, the connection is intense. This is a deep connection. And it caused triggers to arise. Yeah, see this person. They're like, but I made them cry. So this masculine energy may have made you cry here. They have been through some tears now as well. They've had to release. Because what, what they dished out to you has now come back. Yeah, this person is praying. They're praying. They're seeking higher power and guidance here. Because they can't do this no more. They don't want to be in separation with you. They were at a crossroads. They're at a crossroads right now about whether or not to speak out. And this, this neighbor, this friend is telling them to take this leap of faith. Because they do miss you. They're ready to drop the mask. In the past, maybe it was just about sex. But it's not about sex, okay? You're always on this, on this person's mind. And the distance is killing them. In the past, they could have been trying to control the situation. Now they're feeling lost. Because you walked away. Don't leave. Now they want to make plans. They want to make plans. See, when you were making plans, they were hiding behind a mask and running. They didn't want the engagement. They didn't want the marriage. They said it was too much drama. Now they want to get their shit together because they know it's a soul connection. Spirit said that was the last one. Okay. This friend, whoever they're talking to, is telling them they got this shit. So this person may be afraid. And whoever this neighbor is, this friend... They are pumping this person up to come towards you, Divine Fam, to, to get out of this fear. This person is praying that you give them another chance because they're stuck in this fear and anxiety. This is what's keeping them from coming towards you to come out of this separation 
or whoever this neighbor or friend is just telling them look you have to you got it no it's no sweat you got this move forward you got to heal your toxins so you were in your lower negative energy so you got karma for that but now it's time to move on you made the wrong choice apologize but you know this is an intense connection clarify no sweat you got this yeah so now they want to come in with forward movement quick communication swift communication some type of expression or proposal they're being driven by passion the neighbors tell them to go have the conversation stop playing go have the conversation it's forward movement here clarify this neighbor yeah the neighbor is telling them to go towards your fucking emotional fulfillment you have contentment there. You have a happy life. Listen to your intuition, emotional wisdom. What does your heart tell you? Follow your heart. I feel like they're telling them to follow your heart. Go have this communication. But they're afraid you're going to judge them. They're afraid you're going to treat them the same way they treated you because they were in a leg negative, um, toxic behavior towards you. But I feel like you're you're vibrating high. You're not on this tit for tat energy here, divine friend. Clarify judge. Clarify judge. You have four swords. They want to heal it, but they're afraid that you're not the well spinning. Yeah. So they're afraid you may not want to heal it because they have multiple choices and options. They passed up an opportunity. They chose someone else over you. So now they're praying. They made you cry. And they feel like it's too late to apologize, but whoever they're talking to is telling them, no. It's never too late. What was this? Don't ever stop loving me. Yeah, it's never too late. Clarify, don't ever stop loving me. Yeah, they're coming in to balance the scales. Passion and new beginning. Balance and truth, intellect and restitution, beauty and harmony. Ace of Wands, a passionate star, divine spark, primal energy. Yeah, so whoever they're talking to is telling them to release their burdens. Okay, it's time to go balance the scales. Go have the conversation. Stop holding back. Yeah. Release release this negative toxic ass energy. Come out of this fear. There is a passion new beginning here. Go make the offer. Manifest this new beginning. You can come out of, of separation if you tell the truth. Okay? Tell the truth. This person wants to come back towards you single, stable, and with some type of offer. They've been watching. They're they're very they're thinking about some type of impulsive action here. Yeah, they want to put the work in now. They want steady progress. They want to improve. Anything else for this divine master that wants to apologize that's talking to the neighbor? Mm, okay, let's do this deck real fast. We'll do this deck and then we'll close it out. Look, bottom of the deck, please forgive me. Yeah, I abandoned people to make myself feel important. So they ran away from you in this connection to make themselves feel important because important they were in this lower, negative, ass, toxic energy, shadow self. They're no longer in this energy anymore because you cut that ass out. They are healing. And they want to come in and heal this with you. No sweat, you got this. I was pretending to be someone else. So you cut that ass out. Now they want to come talk. I feel like I can't give you what you need. So this person felt like they couldn't give you what they need, what you needed in the past. Right? I feel like this is past energy. Because they and they were pretending to be someone else. They could have pretended like they couldn't give you what you needed. When in all actuality they really could. Now they want to come and talk about it. Right, neighbor. Just like this neighbor. Yeah. See? Huh. Friends or family disapproved of this connection. So the neighbors could have been telling them not to come towards you. Now they want to heal it. They're listening to their own intuition. So I feel like it's I feel like it's both. I feel like there's some friends and family that didn't want this person with you. And they can't fight this anymore because they can't stop focusing on you. But I feel like there is a neighbor or friend or a family here that is telling them to come towards you, follow their emotional fulfillment. Let me get one more for a neighbor. It's a lot. Yeah, see, whoever this the, the neighbor is are the family and friends, okay? 
Um, they could have been intimidated by you. Family, friends that disapproved of this connection were intimidated by you. But your person is in love with you. They think the world of you and you are the person of their dreams. This is what they told these neighbors, these friends, these people. They're coming after their emotional fulfillment. They want to heal it with you. Yeah, they want to heal the secrets and deception because you're always on their mind. This is a soulmate connection. Judge. These neighbors could have been judging you here, Collective. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's two sets. I feel like it's neighbors and friends and families that was judging, right? And this person um, was listening to them in the past, right? Could be why they pulled away. But I feel like there is, it could be one person that is giving this person sound fucking advice. If you love this person, if this person means the world for you, if this person is the person of your dreams, then why do you keep feeling like you're not enough? Quit pretending. Quit listening to these friends and family. Move forward. Have this connection. You got this. Yeah. Stop having a one-sided relationship. This person was a one-sided relationship in the past because they listened to the friends and family that disapproved of the connection. Now they're talking to a friend or family that has, or a neighbor that has their best interest at, my, at heart, okay? In the past, they were dealing with people that weren't. This person could have just came towards you for sexual fantasies, or there was a third party that there were sexual fantasies. This is why it was one-sided, because they were still dealing with a third party that was out here fulfilling their fucking sexual fantasies. But they realized that you are the love of their life. Money could have also been an issue. They could have thought you were just a flame. This third party could have been just a flame. But now they're planning on reaching out to you and they want you to forgive them. Fair if I don't ever stop loving me. Yeah, see, they didn't know what they wanted in the past. They didn't know what they wanted. Now they know that you're the love of their life. They know the connection is strong. And they are sorry. You're always on their mind. They're going to soulmate again. They lied about how they felt about you. Secrets and deception. Because they were still dealing with some type of third party. That they was having sex with. Third party could have been doing sex magic on them as well. I will find my way back to you one day. So they're on their way back. Yeah they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want no conflict. They said your story's not over yet. And they miss you. They just needed some time. They said you make them a better person, and they feel like they ruined everything. Yeah, they're, they're dealing with money issues right now, or they're coming out of some type of money issues. I feel like for a lot of them, they're coming out of the money issues, but money issues was an issue when they were still in the past, when they were dealing with you. Yeah. Okay, babies. Anything else here, Spirit, that we're supposed to know before we pull up out of here? I think that's it for now, guys. So if it resonates with you, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I love. You keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.